a roof it's the old arsenio hall <laughs> all right now hey i'm just kidding i don't we don't really do that here that was arsenio hall did that a long time ago but we but now the game like the entertainment game has changed and that's not cool anymore you know and and things evolve except for maybe schools everything else evolves but money i'm super incredibly famous big rapper Big Ron Crowley is my name. Let me start over. I screwed that up. <laughs> I'm a ridiculously famous rapper, Big Ron Crowley. And uh, this is my show, The Big Ron Show, which if you tuned in last week, you remember I didn't even know I was going to have a show. And I'm not really that proud of having a show. I don't want to have one, but I do. Uh, and I just came out here today and... Um, Again, I said, I really don't want to do any of this monologue stuff. And they were like, you have to. That's what pretty much everybody does. If you've seen Arsenio's and the, and the uh, Conan's and uh, Jay Leno's and all those types of guys. And I was like, okay, fine. I guess I'll do one. And then what should I say? And they're like, well, why don't you just say funny stuff? And I'm like, yeah, that's what you said last time. And I took out that joke book and it was so dumb of jokes. <laughs> so I just thought about it. And, um, you know, I, I got... Um, I came up with one thing that was funny, um, and it's this, um, hey, did you hear about the, uh, education was in the news? It was, uh, I got arrested for, for stealing. Yeah, I guess it stole everybody's creativity that ever went through it. <laughs> it stole it. It filled you up with so much fast that they just lost all creativity, and they just apparently got charged with, uh, grand theft creativity that's a terrible joke sorry about that and uh i just really think though sometimes the funniest things in the world aren't even jokes oh yeah they're just things that that you uh that are just funny because they because they are because they're real and uh, i got a couple examples i guess of these and one of them would be if you ever been and i bet you have if you ever been at a um school and you're working there and there's like a lot of teachers administrators and they're all like standardized tests are such a horrible way to judge kids you know don't judge kids by standardized tests that's wrong yeah these things are useless you know like we got to get rid of them this has to stop and all of a sudden you get like some in the mail where it's like hey your school uh got the a little badge of achievement because you guys got this many people that were did good on standardized tests and then everybody's like yeah <laughs> faculty meetings and you guys get the newspaper and it's like check them out we're just like Woo, 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 woo. You know, like, hey, those are all, it's so awesome. No, it's not. It was not awesome. When you were arguing, it wasn't awesome. And even then, when you did good at it, it's still not awesome. You know? Like, you might throw a rock from 1,000 feet away from some house and, and, and say, I'm going to aim for that one little window right there and throw it and be like, bam, breaks, and that window breaks. And you're like, yeah, I did it. And be like, no, you broke a window. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, some of you guys do. You know, you know, you guys, you know what I'm saying, right? Okay. Well, I guess uh, maybe another one would be this. That this one's always been funny to me is that you know you have so many teachers here who love the kids and stuff, and they're trying to help them. And then, you know, you're sitting there, and you got your kids sitting in the rows, and the kid comes up and he's like, uh, "Excuse me," and they even, sometimes even use a please and stuff, and they're like, "Hey, can I please? Can I go to the bathroom?" And then the teacher says, "I don't know. Can you?" And if it were me, I'd be like, yeah, I can. Um, yes, I can. <laughs> but then they're like, it's May. It's May. May I go to the bathroom? And I want to just say this message, um, because I know this is a lot of you, and I don't mean to be offensive, but um, that is really honorable that you're trying to correct their grammar um, like that, because you are correct. It is may I go to the bathroom instead of can I go. But... I would, I vote that we just look past that and we just say, just let them say can, because you correct your grammar on that. I'm not sure how strong of a teachable moment that is. I'm not sure you're just like, wow, you just saved them getting some jobs because they're going to be like, may I work for your business, please? And they're going to be like, oh, he said may, that's pretty dang awesome. 
Uh, but instead, what actually happens is that the kids got to go to the bathroom, and now they just have to wait a little bit longer, and they don't like you. They, they, they really don't like you. Like, when, as they're walking through the bathroom, they're like, so stupid, I'm sure. You know, like, they know exactly what I was talking about. And so I don't, I think the ROI on that one is negative, and I perhaps would just be like, when some, this is what I would do. I would be like, uh, sitting there and they'd be like, uh, excuse me, can I go to the bathroom, please? And I'll be like, sure. And then they go to the bathroom, and they're probably thinking either this, probably nothing, but maybe they're just like, oh, that's nice that he let me go to the bathroom. Uh, I doubt they're thinking like, I hope that was grammatically correct, and if it's not, what a jerk there, because he did not inform me of the correct grammar. <laughs> that seems funny to me. That's my monologues. We've got a great show tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my band over there, The Roots. And again, if you if that doesn't make sense to you, and that's not like a little bit funny to you, you might not even be smart enough to watch this show, okay? So we got a lot of good show here for you. We got a special guest I think you'll like. Ladies and gentlemen, UNLV running Rebels. You guys remember that? Booyah. And now, Deep Thoughts by Ron Crowley. Once when I was in study hall during fourth hour, I tried to get some homework done that was due fifth hour, but all of my friends started laughing at me. It was funny. I realized that and then just sat there and talked, like always. Hi, my name is Big Ron, and sometimes I think that a big glass of water is analogous to life, because you know, I look up at this big glass of water and I think to myself, it's 60% full. But there are other people who look at that same glass of water and say it's 40% empty. Now, it's the same glass of water, but oh my god, what in the heck is that? Oh my god, look at all this water. What is happening? I feel like Elsa and Arendelle Frozen on the district pay scale All right now ladies and gentlemen This is the part of the show where I try to go find some really good guests to bring on So we can talk to them about uh, the subject of education And how good it is or could be and, you know, last week we brought on Gregor Mendel, none other than the father of heredity, and that was real interesting. You know, got to learn a lot about him and what he does and does not know and that type of stuff. And, you know, I always try to find really good guests, and this week is no exception. Ladies and gentlemen, on the phone lines, I am very proud to bring to you a good friend of mine, Grover. Hello, Grover. Hello, Ron. I'm happy to be here. It, we're happy to have you here as well. Now, ironically, I actually went down to go see Grover down by Sesame Street. I'm not on Sesame Street right now, as you can see. Uh, it's very difficult to get down there with the traffic this time of day. And uh, But I, I came here to interview Grover and found out that he actually is in Flagstaff, Arizona. Yes. At a, is it a conference, mm, Grover? Hop, hop, hop. Mm, conference. Mm, hop. All right. Jump. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, just bad, bad communication by me. Really, I uh, probably should have got a hold of him before I just came down here. But he's a good friend of mine, and I, I knew he'd be on the show. I just kind of wanted to see him in person, or a person, whatever, he, whatever you are, whatever you call that. But uh, but the thing I think is, is Grover. I'm, I want to talk to you a little bit. We're talking about education, and I think you are one of the forefathers of education. I know growing up, I learned a lot of stuff like the letters and how to hop and stuff like that from you. Can you explain a little like what you did for education or the kind of some of the stuff you did? Uh, education! Grover! Near! Far! Near! Far! Hop! Yeah. Hop! 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 I can hop! You will see! The others they all uh -huh. hop! With me! 
Here we go. Dad. <laughs> That is what I remember. I remember doing that all the time until I had it all learned and I had fun and all that kind of stuff. So, Goldberg, you know, a lot has changed here in the world. And mm -hmm. the, if you were teaching and stuff still today, because I know you you haven't been. See, you're one of kind of those guys that got, got his money and mm -hmm. then you kind of got out of the game, if you know what I mean. And mm -hmm. you know, always sad to see that. It happens all the time with the Kentucky Derby winners and a lot of times mm -hmm. with really – you know, uh, sometimes with like NFL players when they get a contract and all of a sudden they don't do anything anymore. Chris Johnson. But if you were still making those types of songs and videos and, and educating, would you still like do those, like teach that exact type of stuff? No, like near far, that type of stuff. You can Google that. I would do. Oh, I would so what, what would you, what would you teach? I would do more 21st century skills and some of the technology skills for sure. Uh, just that type of stuff that's relevant to this century. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the well, I, I couldn't agree with you more, uh, Grover. And unfortunately, I, I do see that, uh, that that is true. And it seems, I mean, even Grover sees this, guys, ladies and gentlemen. And it, that's not happening a lot in schools. Wow. No, no. Wow. They're that's not doing a lot of that. It's still like that kind of, you know the letters and the hopping and the memorizing bunch Whoa. of stuff about like the mitochondrias and, and the grapes oh, of wrath and God. all that kind of stuff. But Ugh. yeah, no, don't know why, but, um, well, okay. So, you know, one other thing I had here written down that I wanted to ask you is down on the Sesame street, do you know big bird? Mm, yes, I know yeah. big bird very well. <laughs> and what's it like to know big bird? Well, I don't know. Yeah. Just he my is a big bird. He, that's a gigantic <laughs> bird. Very, very big. For sure. I would say if you are someone studying ornithology, which what? is the study of birds, you would <laughs> really love Big Bird because he is so big. He's just gigantic. But one last thing, Rover, that I want to ask you, and I feel a little guilty doing this here, but what is your favorite Big Ron song? Mm, well, I love Randy Moss, so I probably like Straight Cash oh, for Me! Straight Cash like for Me! I like that one too. Straight <laughs> Cash for Me! Let's listen to that. Yeah! Check, homie. Straight cash, homie. Straight cash, homie. Straight cash, homie. Straight cash, homie. I'm straight cash, homie. Like Steve Nash, homie. Deliver the unexpected like a behind-the-back pass, homie. When I dive in, I make a splash, homie. All of a yes, I act like the heat rash, homie. Jaws dropping. Like a large mouth bass, homie, so bright, won't need a flash in the photograph, homie. Aftermath, homie, clear your cash, homie. Mess with me, you're gonna have some backlash, homie. Keep acting like white, white trash, trash, take a, a bath, bath, homie. Quicker the Randy Moss in the 40 yard dash, homie. Suffering, suck a tash, homie. Titan class, homie. I'm Big, big Ron, I like to take out the trash, homie. Half empty in your glass, second class, homie. Your style's cheap, like $2 a gallon gas, homie. Alas, homie, I got you outclassed, homie. People, People come to listen, listen like it's 8 o'clock mass, mass, homie. I drive a Lex, I don't write checks. Straight cash, homie, sus a straight cash, no, homie. Just like you'd expect, I don't write checks. Straight cash, sicka sicka, straight cash, homie. Straight cash. Straight cash, homie, 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 straight cash, homie. 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 Straight what are you thinking I'm not about? sure this guy watches the news very much. Has he seen some of the scandals and politics and some of the inappropriate, unethical things people are doing in this world? The fact that Randy Moss played a joke and pretended he mooned some people is far from me emphasizing the word disgusting, such as he has, such as he has, such as he has. Such as he has. Great cash, homie. I'll give you 15 yards and grab your face mask, disgusting. homie. You think that's disgusting? I didn't ask, homie. Green is grass, homie. Riding first class, homie. This is my turf. You better not trespass, homie. Sand is dripping from the hourglass, homie. Your flag will be flying at half mast if you don't clean up your act, homie. Ooh. Second paragraph, another blast, homie. Things are looking cloudy and dark in your forecast, homie. I never die like everlasting, that's that, homie. 
cost you nothing but a pain in the butt, homie. I drive a Lex, I don't write checks. Straight cash, homie, just a straight cash, no, homie. Just, just like you expect, I don't write checks. Straight cash, sick of, sick of straight sick cash, cash, homie. If you don't write checks, how do you pay these guys? Straight cash, homie, straight cash, homie, straight cash, homie. You know, this reminds me, Big Ron, about a time when I went to go buy myself a cheeseburger. And right when I walked in the joint, the guy took a look at me and said, Hey, hey sir, we, we don't, don't accept, accept checks. checks. And I said, <laughs> I don't write checks. And he said, How are you going to pay, pay for, for that, that then, sir? And I said, Straight cash, homie. 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 And now, Deep Thoughts by Ron Crowley. One time when I was taking a standardized test, I knew that the answer was either A or C. I knew it wasn't B or D. I decided to guess C. The correct answer was A. I might as well have just put B or D, just to be silly. I'm Big Ron, and this is the chorus. I yep. drive around town in a brown Ford Taurus. You can't ignore us in a Ford Taurus. We get respect like a Tyrannosaurus. Just owning a car is enough. Uh -huh. It ain't gotta be all fancy and stuff. I'm just trying to get from point A to point B. People don't like my car, they like me. 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 Big Ron, B Big Ron.